Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,265. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,264 to 1,265, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about an amazing versatile function for calculating net working days. Now, net work days is an older function in 2010 net work days dot international came out and it does some amazing things. We're going to look at about 10 examples. Now the basics, start date, end date, give it the weekends and holidays. Notice anytime you see an argument in a screen tip with square brackets, that means if you know the defaults, you can leave them out and the function will assume them. Also it means for holidays, if you don't have any, you don't have to put it in. So I'm just going to do, hey, there's the start date, comma. There's the end date. Since our weekends are Saturday and Sunday and we don't have any holidays, we don't have to put these in. Now, comma, that's an amazing argument right there for a weekend. Consecutive days, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. And there's some even single day weekends. But since we're doing Saturday and Sunday, we know it's the default, so I'm going to backspace, and that's it. Close parentheses, Control-Enter. That's the number of net working days. Now notice, we of course did logically, here's a start, here's an end. But you can actually do the reverse, which is in essence saying how many days since Thursday, January 28, all the way back to December 22nd equals net work days dot international. I'm going to do the start date comma the end date. But notice the start date is bigger than the end date. And we will assume Saturday and Sunday weekend and we don't have any holidays. Hey, it works fine. It just gives you a negative number. It says, hey, going backwards, we got 28 net work days. Our next example, here we have Sunday and Monday, which is not the default. So we can simply equals net work days dot international. We have our start date, our end date, in our weekend, hey, we're going to put a 2 in to say Sunday and Monday are our weekends, comma. And we have some holidays. So we highlight our range, and some of them can be empty if you want. Close parentheses, and boom, we get 26 net working days. Now, for this calculation, notice we pointed to, for holidays, we pointed towards the cells. And I like to do that, right? That's the, the meaning of Excel is we have our formula inputs here so we can change them. And then the function automatically updates. But sometimes people don't want to do that. They don't want to waste the spreadsheet real estate. So we can do this a couple different ways. We're going to have our weekend Sunday and Monday. And we have holidays, but we can't put the holiday dates in the cell. So equals net working days dot international. We have start, comma, end date, comma, two for Sunday and Monday, comma, and holidays. We're going to use array syntax, which this function allows. You have to find your open curly brackets. And in double quotes, I'm going to type 12 slash 25 slash 2015. And double quotes. And in array syntax, comma means it go over column. Semicolon means go down a row. You can use either one you want here, but be consistent. Our next date is 1 slash 1 slash 2016. N double quote and a comma, open double quote, 1 slash 18 slash 2016. N double quote and close curly bracket. That is array syntax that we use there. Close parentheses and control enter. It gives us exactly the same thing. Now, watch this. I'm going to copy this and paste this over here. F2, if for some crazy reason you knew what the serial numbers were, you could put them into this array. So I can highlight that and type 42,363, comma, 42,370, comma, 42,000. 387. Because they're numbers, we do not have to put them in double quotes. That is a crazy formula. I don't know anyone that would do that. But check that out. It works. Here's why you might want to do it. Equals the net working days dot international start comma n comma two comma. And let's just say 
that you have these dates here because you typed them out so you could visually see them. But in the end solution, you cannot have these here. Watch this. I can simply highlight these. Now, formulas never look at number formatting, and dates are number formatting. So watch this. When I highlight this, I click the holiday and evaluate it, it will conveniently put it into array syntax. Notice the semicolons, because we're putting them in rows. But there's no way this formula, when we evaluate, is going to look at the number formatting. It's going to look at the underlying serial number. So that could be a convenient use, especially if you have a lot of holidays and you don't want to put them in the cell. When I control enter, minus 26. I guess I did it backwards here. Double click, boop, double click, boop, and then control enter. Ah, but what about the fact that Sunday and Monday, that happens to be number two. But what if we have a holiday situation that's not in our drop down? It's no problem. We're going to have weekends on Sunday and Thursday equals net workdays dot international. We have our start, comma, our end. Our weekend, it's just not there. Well, we can type it out. And I have some notes down here. It's got to be a string, a text string. So you have to put it in double quotes. And then we have to put seven digits, one for each day of the week, starting with Monday. One means you're not working. Zero means you're working. So watch this. Monday, I'm working. Zero. Tuesday, I'm working. Zero. Wednesday, we're working. And it is Thursday that we're not working. So we put a one. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seven digits. One means we're not working. Zero means we're working. And we always start on Monday. And double quote. And we do have holiday, so comma, and bloop, close parentheses. And boom, there we get our 24. Now, actually, we could also take this one step further for our last example. Let's say we don't want the holidays in the cell. Well, we could just hard code everything in here. And there's that little trick, F9. And there's our arrays. I don't need these zeros at the end, so I'm simply going to delete them. Control Enter. All right, that was a little fun with net workdays dot international start and hey, we have the weekend drop down or a seven digit number to represent our weekends and then holidays either entered as cell references or hard code them in as serial numbers or actual dates in double quotes. All right, we'll see you next video.